I feel that from the government of India, under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, we have full support to the development of Andhra Pradesh. That is exactly which I want to convey you. The most important strength with the Andhra Pradesh is they have got 974 kilometer of sea level, which is a sea front, which is available, and already. The six ports with a cargo handling capacity of 240 million metric ton is already there. The four new ports under development, and state has three port-led industrial corridors. At the same time, today I am going to declare that all the port, either it is major port, state port, private port. My ministry has decided to connect the port with the four-lane national highway, which is very important, and we have taken that task. For that reason, we have also we have, there are three port-led industrial corridors. One is Vishakhapatnam, Chennai. We have re, we had already decided to develop multimodal logistic park on that road. The Chennai-Bengaluru industrial corridor. Hyderabad Bangalore Industrial Corridor in Anantapur, we have already planned for multimodal logistic park. The road infrastructure in AP is very important. I am always telling to the people about the famous statement of American President John F. Kennedy that American roads are not good because America is rich, but America is rich because American roads are good. The total road network in Andhra Pradesh is 1,34,280 km. The national highway length before 2014, it was 4,193 km. When Prime Minister Modi ji under his leadership at 2014, I have taken as a charge as a minister, the NH length of Andhra Pradesh is increased by 109% and now it is 8,745 kilometers. We are making Greenfield Expressway corridor, which are very important for industrial development, and without that, no one is going to invest. The total number of Greenfield Expressway, five numbers we are going to develop, and total Greenfield length is 662 kilometers, and we are spending 30,000 crores on that. The Greenfield Express Highway, the important highway is very important because when I was shipping minister, there was a lot of problem related with the railway as far as the transport of goods from Andhra Pradesh, from Vishakhapatnam to Raipur in Chhattisgarh. And that is really a bottleneck. That's why we have decided at that time to construct raipur Vishakhapatnam Expressway Corridor. And this is very important. Presently, we have already started the work. Before end of 24, we are going to complete this work, and then Vishakhapatnam to Raipur will be only with five and a half hours will be completed by the car. For truck, it will take eight to nine hours. Presently, lot of bottlenecks up there, but it is going to be related to Chhattisgarh, and Chhattisgarh is mineral-rich state. And regarding export and import activities, this corridor is very important. The other important road is Bangalore Chennai Expressway. Presently, it takes four hours, five hours, but we are going to complete this before December 24. Already, work is going on. It will be only with two hours from Bangalore to Chennai. The third is Hyderabad Vishakhapatnam. This is also very important, and we will complete this uh, before December 24. Then Chitur Thachur Express Highway, Green Express Highway, we will complete this within December 24. Then it will be only with one and a half hour. Then Bangalore Kalapa Vijayawada, 12 hours, presently it takes, but it will be six hours and we will complete before December 24. The most important thing in Bangalore Chennai Expressway, the 85 kilometer of length is in Andhra Pradesh and already work has started. Already this all 85 kilometer Andhra Pradesh, the work is awarded. 
the cost of this project is 5,000. And because of Bangalore and Chennai, within two hours, the Andhra Pradesh government can take the initiative to develop industrial clusters, uh, logistic parks, and development of different industry on this highway, which is going to connect Chennai and Bangalore. I also very much confident about Raipur, Vishakhapatnam, where there is a huge possibility of making industrial park, industrial cluster, logistic park. The distance is 465 kilometer, and total length in Andhra Pradesh is 100 kilometer. The cost is 4,500 crore. The already 12 kilometer length is completed. These are very important highways, which are very helpful for industrial development in the state. The water, power, transport and communication, these are the four important pillars as far as the development is concerned. And as for the road infrastructure is concerned, we have already taken the responsibility of making good standard infrastructure of international standard in Andhra Pradesh. We are also making Nagpur to Vijayawada, that is 438 kilometer. And out of which some of the length is in Andhra Pradesh, already we are in the process of starting this project. The most important project is very important for Andhra Pradesh, is, which is connecting from north to south. Presently from Punjab, Haryana, Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Himachal, Delhi, Rajasthan and Gujarat. All traffic which is coming to the south is coming to Mumbai, then it goes to Pune, and after Pune, it is diverted to Solapur and Kollapur, and then it's going to south. Now we have already completed ma major part of the Delhi-Mumbai Express Highway. And near Surat, we are making the Green Express Highway, that is from Surat to Nashik, Nashik to Ahmednagar, Ahmednagar to Solapur, and Solapur to Karnul. And by Karnul, it will be well connected to Hyderabad, Vishakhapatnam, Bangalore, Mangalore, Kanyakumari, Chennai, everywhere in the South India. Now you don't need to go to Mumbai and Pune. That is going to reduce the kilometer by 300 kilometers. It is saving is there and which is very important. The most important problem in our business and industry is our logistic cost. In India, our logistic cost is 16%. Now China is 8 to 10 percent, and USA and uh, European country it is 12 percent. Our mission is, our target is to make this logistic cost in single digit up to 9 percent. As a transport minister, we have taken a lot of decision. In place of diesel, we want to use ethanol, methanol, biodiesel, bio LNG, CNG, and hydrogen and electric. We are in the process of making electric highway. We have now electric trucks, electric tractors, and the hydrogen is the fuel for the future. 100% I am confident, just I got opportunity to launch LNG truck in Pune, in Chakan, the blue energy of the company. And in place of using 100 rupees of diesel, it is only with the 40% per we, can, we can only have to pay the for LNG and the truck capacity is for 1600 kilometers. So change in fuel, that is one of the important things. And other important thing is the good roads, by which 100% within five years, we will reduce the logistic cost to 9% even in Andhra Pradesh, and that will be a great thing. The other important connectivity is four-lane Khannam, Devarpalli, Greenfield Corridor which is also very important. We have decided to make this corridor is important for Andhra Pradesh. The work is in progress. I am likely to be complete by September 24. The estimate cost is 2,500 crore. Regarding the port connectivity, we are spending 20,000 crore in Andhra Pradesh and we have decided to connect all the ports of Andhra Pradesh by national highway by four lane and that is very important because this 907 kilometer is a big strength for the Andhra Pradesh. My ministry, she is currently undertaking 22 port connected road project of length of 1,350 kilometer in the state of Andhra Pradesh to improve the road connectivity to five ports. That is Vizag Port, Gangavaram, Kakinada, Krishnapatnam, Nizamapatnam, and Vishakapatnam. Additionally, Ministry has identified six more projects of 120 kilometer length 
to improve last mile connectivity to four non major ports that is bhavanpadu bhavanpadu mashli patnam ramaya patnam and gangavaram under the port connectivity master plan i am very much confident the 907 km is the biggest strength for andhra pradesh and in the global economy to make industrial clusters and create good facility for export and import that is to be a big strength and i feel that this is the opportunity for andhra pradesh to develop the ports